So let's go ahead and uh, let's unlock the door first so it will be blown off the side of the aircraft. Oh, wow, it actually opened. Oh my gosh, no! Oh my gosh, everything's getting sucked out! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're back in Teardown, and in today's video, we're checking out this awesome build, this is a Boeing 737, and it's got a lot of cool features, so yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, here we are on board the aircraft here, and we've got Bob and Jim, looks like Jim is slumping over a little bit, let's go ahead and fix that, there you go, stand up straight. Good enough. As you can see, this is a really nice aircraft. There's a lot of cool details, like the shutters actually being able to be closed. Look at that. That's great. We even have bathrooms on board this plane, so let's go ahead and open. Oh my gosh. I did not mean it to be that violent. I'm pretty sure that was a person that was in there. Yep. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to go ahead and just simply board this up. This is under construction. Do not mind this whatsoever. And we also have a cockpit on board, of course. You can't have a plane without a cockpit or else it would crash or not take off at all. And as you can see, we've got moving controls and whatnot. We've got the co-pilot, which seems to have a headache, and the pilot who is controlling the aircraft. Very, very nice. We'll go ahead and close the door there. So yeah, we've also got first class seating. We've got business class, as well as some people who seem to have fallen over in the back. I'm questioning why. Yeah, we've also got a guy in the bathroom here who seems to be sitting on the floor and not on the toilet. This is not where you're supposed to go to the bathroom, so. So we also have these uh, carts, which are also movable, so we can knock all this over and be completely destructive. And ouch, that would definitely hurt if the cart landed on that dude's head. So yeah, that has been a lot of the interior on board this aircraft. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to blow it up because, yeah, that seems like a reasonable response. So let's go ahead and uh, let's unlock the door first so it will be blown off the side of the aircraft. Oh, wow, it actually opened. Oh my gosh, no! Oh my gosh, everything's getting sucked out! Oh my gosh! Oh no! No, 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 That was very close. We're not gonna get sucked out of the aircraft, are we now? Oh my gosh. Well, luckily, Bob and Jim are perfectly fine. Uh, we're just gonna take them over to the, the first class seating area. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this door. So, uh, yeah, we'll take care of that. And... Oh, oh, there it goes. Yep, and that is gone. So as you can see, we've now got a gaping hole in the side of the... What was that? We just exploded. Uh, did the floor give way? Oh my gosh, it looks like the floor gave way. Oh no. No! No, not Bob or Jim. I can't quite tell which one's which. But his head, no! Well, unfortunately... This is just one of the losses you have to deal with with the airline industry. Some passengers may spontaneously explode during mid-flight. There he goes, into the abyss below. All right, well, let's go ahead and take um, either Bob or Jim. Can't quite remember which one it is, but we're gonna take him to a nice safe location. Oh, no! No, he is dead as well. Look, I can see his brain. Oh, no. We will have to bury him as well. And you've heard of the expression buried at sea, which really isn't an expression. They really do bury people at sea. But we are going to bury people in the air. There we go. Either Bob or Jim, but both Bob and Jim have gone to their graves in the sky. So, yeah, quite sad. But um, we also seem to have a mild fire on board, which at this point I'm not going to really worry about. We've got bigger problems to deal with at this stage. Do want to see if the pilots are okay. How are we doing in here? Wow, they are... Oh, my gosh. Well, it seems like the actual pilot was affected quite badly. His leg is all screwed up. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, remove him from the cockpit. There we go. And now we have full control. Look at me, I am the captain now, and this alarm is going off. I don't know... Oh, this is the air pressure alarm, or the uh, pressurization alarm. Um, so we can just turn that off. And as you can see, it's dealt with it accordingly. And we'll get the uh, co-pilot in here to fly the aircraft. So, um, yeah. Whoops. Looks like we do not have a co-pilot or pilot anymore, and our plane is on fire and has a massive gaping hole in the side of it. So... Um, yeah, things are not really boding well for us at this stage. Now, there is an option that we can pursue, and that is to remove the damaged parts of the aircraft. But, um, I don't think it will be flying after that, which I think we can do now. It does result in blowing up more of the plane, but I think it'll be worth it if we do it. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and slowly start 
breaking the plane into two sections. We'll be keeping the side that is repaired and, well, detonating the side that is damaged until it falls off. Makes sense? Makes sense. What was that? Something else just detonated. Oh my gosh, look at that, I can see the engine. Hello, engine. Um, why are you not rotating quickly? Uh, we might have broken the engine a little bit. Oh my gosh. The only way to deal with this is to blow it up. So let's quickly place a few explosives and solve the issue. All right, so now all we have to do is take care of this section here. What is that? Oh crap, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh, that makes sense. I was holding the meteor strike tool. Um, whoops. Now all we have to do is get rid of this piece here and we should be set. Yep, there it goes. Oh, it's getting quite close. Oh my gosh. Woo! That was close. Oh boy. Uh, I didn't quite expect the air pressure to be so high in this area right now. Oh my gosh, everything is getting blown aft right now. Holy cow. I think we'll go ahead and just restart the aircraft and, um... Yeah, I think that'll be good because I don't think this is playable anymore. I mean, we can't even move at this stage. All right, and we're back and we've got Bob and Jim here. Bob is actually serving some drinks at the bar there while Jim is doing nothing, which means the airline must punish him. There we are. He's been punished by the airline. So, now with that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and burn the aircraft, something we haven't done yet. And that means we need to set fire somewhere. Now you may be asking, Jesse, where's the best place to set a fire on an aircraft? Now if you're asking that question, you should be on the no-fly list. But if I had to give an answer, probably in the ceiling. I mean, that's a really well-hidden area, so the fire can easily traverse that space and, well, burn through the ceiling into the cabin and, well, game over. So, yeah, let's go ahead and set a fire in the ceiling and see what happens. So first, we're gonna go ahead and hop up onto the ceiling here and kind of just break through and see what we can find up here. Anything flammable? Well, we got some luggage, so that's promising, but kind of looking for... Yeah, there we go. We got the wires and stuff. So let's go ahead and blow torch it. Let's see if we can actually set a nice little fire inside the aircraft ceiling here. So there we go. All right, we got a little bit of an inferno going up there. Just a little bit of fire, which is now rapidly growing. So that is good. As you can see, it's also dropping down onto the floor. So you know what? Let's put that out there. We'll let the fire grow for a little bit before, well, taking over the rest of the aircraft. So, yeah. Now, at this stage, the fire is growing quite rapidly. As you can see, it's dropping down onto the floor and then setting fire to that as well. And now it's starting to spread very quickly. As you can see, looks like, yeah, that entire luggage compartment up there is now on fire and it's starting to spread along the ceiling. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, this is getting out of control fast. Oh boy, this is, uh, this is spreading very quickly. Luckily, the bulkhead here is holding back the smoke from going forward for some reason, but, um, yeah, as you can see, it is now burning the seats as well, so, whoa! You gotta watch out for falling debris, especially here. You can see the fire has already traversed to this point in the aircraft, and um, remember, it started over there, so it is spreading very quickly. Wow, that is a frightening sight. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, this is getting out of control quick. Okay, at this point, it's now going across the ceiling over to the other side of the aircraft, and it's burning that as well. So you can see right there the fire is beginning to wait a minute oh my gosh that is not in the ceiling that is on one of the seats oh my gosh okay yeah this is out of control this is completely out of control there is no way of stopping the fire at this stage it is um it is burning everything in sight oh my gosh it's so bright here i can't even see forward okay i'm going to the back of the aircraft now luckily not to worry we have fire extinguishers so let's go ahead and what was that? Uh-oh. I think part of the fuel tank might have just blown up. Let's go ahead and see if we can put it out with this fire extinguisher. So, yeah. Uh-oh. Everything's turned red. That is not good. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, we're being sucked. We're being sucked towards the opening. Well, uh, there's no stopping this now. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. We're wedged on something. I can't move. I think we're alive. No. No, 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 no. We're wedged. Oh, we're getting pulled through. Oh, nope. And we're dead. Yep. Nope. That's death. Well, this is not a great visual. I would uh, call this probably a nightmare at this stage. Um, everything's on fire, burning. Everything's in rubble format. And um, there's a bunch of holes in the aircraft. So, yeah, I think we've uh, really accomplished our goal here by setting fire to the aircraft and subsequently blowing it up. I think there's one last thing we need to do with this aircraft that does involve its destruction. So, yeah. How about a mid-air collision? We're gonna go ahead and crash this plane right down here into our plane. 
So, yeah, let's go ahead and just grab the plane with the physics gun and pull it towards us. And there we go. We've just had a mid-air collision. And as you can see, um, all the air is escaping the aircraft now. Um, I'm kind of getting stuck down to this seat here for some reason. And I'm trying to free myself. All right, I think we can now walk. And let's take a look at the damage. And, um, yeah, as you can see, um, looks like... Oh, no. Are you okay, Bob? Let's take a look at your face. Hey, he's all right. And so is Jim. Great. Excellent. All right, now with that door removed, we can get a nice view of what's going on here. So as you can see, there's a large gap ripped open in the side of the aircraft from the wing of the other aircraft. So, yeah, and it looks like our engine is on fire too so that isn't great but uh whatever we'll live what happens if we uh well just click the aircraft now since we've done that with the physics gun this entire aircraft is moving now everything in it is moving and so are we oh yeah we're gonna be crashing very soon as you can see the aircraft is approaching the ground and um uh oh, we're having explosions going on. Oh my gosh, we have lost an engine. Uh, that is not good. Doesn't really matter at this stage. We're heading towards the ground, anyways. All right. Well, we'll say our final goodbyes because, well, again, everything's gonna get destroyed once we hit the ground. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. We'll just hope for the best here. I'm gonna go ahead and presume a position in the center of the aircraft or near there and um, wait for the inevitable. Oh my gosh, everything is shaking. This is not good, what is happening? Oh my gosh, the door's opened up. Oh, I think we're hitting ground. Oh my gosh, no, we've lost power. Oh my gosh, oh I see trees. In the one frame per second view I'm getting here, this is beautiful. I think we're hitting the ground. I'm pretty sure we are hitting the ground here. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can get a view out the window here. Wow, okay, we're getting one frame per hour at this stage. Holy cow. Oh, something just smashed nearby us. Um, not quite sure what that is. I think I just saw the engine go by. Yep, that looks like the engine there. Oh, I think another hole just opened up below us here. Uh, can't really move at this stage. I don't think moving is really gonna save us at this point. Yep, oh, we're near the front of the aircraft now. And everything's gone gray. So, maybe this is what death is like. Maybe it's all been a misconception. All I can hear is noises right now. Oh, I see something. Oh, we're back. We just got knocked out. That's all. We just got knocked out, but it's... Oh, nope. We're knocked out again. Um, I'm looking up now. I know that's the ceiling there. Oh, hold on. I see outside. I see the outside world. Yeah, we're still moving. There's a tree going by. I got a glimpse of something. Oh, um, we're about to hit the ground. Oh, boy. This is, uh, this is very, very trippy here. Oh, my gosh. We are still moving, by the way. Um, this plane crash is lasting a very long time. If we look forward, we can get a nice view of the non-existent cockpit. Not quite sure where it went, um, but yeah. All right, so I've gone ahead and paused the experience for a second here to show you how destructive this is, and it's gonna be interesting to see if we walk away from it, so yeah. Oh boy, we're getting our frames back. That is a positive, oh boy. But well, we're about to hit the grass or something here. Um, are we moving on something? I can't quite tell. Yes, it stopped, finally. Oh my gosh. So, yep, we're getting our frames back, which is great. Um, somehow we survived the plane crash. And as you can see, the cockpit is gone entirely. There's actually a tree sticking out of it. The uh, interior is ravaged. Let's go over to the other side here and take a look at what's going on over here. As uh, we saw in the air, the engine is gone. But yeah, we survived a plane crash in Teardown. And I do want to take a look at the wings here, see how they uh, survived. Yeah, well, they're kind of stripped or basically cut off at the edges. Wow, that was a crazy crash landing for sure. Well, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.